in the game.
Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And, Phil, it's the start of a whole new season. There's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope. And how do you feel about getting this season underway? Well, Jim, there's a lot of things in the air, and one of them is nerve. I think we have nervous coaches and nervous players. Starting the year off, all the thinking of during the offseason, the training camp, the preseason games, how is it going to come together for us? Uh, we'll find out, but it's going to be fun to watch it today. All right, now let's go to Danielle Bellini, who has more on today's game. Thanks, Jim. It's great to be here for what should be another memorable season. As for today's game, it's all about the nerves. Speaking with veterans and rookies alike, they all talked about being amped up for today's game. They know one game doesn't make a season because they want to start the season off right. And really, what that means is walking out of here 1-0 and today. Bottom line, guys, this should be a good way to open the season. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. They crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Here's the man who, in 2011, set the NFL's single-season pass yardage record. Quarterback, Drew Brees. Jim, I'll tell you this. Drew Brees is a numbers machine. The guy in a bad day is going to throw for 300 yards and get 25 completions and three touchdowns. But he's so efficient, that's the reason why he puts up such great numbers. Jimmy Graham might be one of the most underrated players in the entire NFL. Well, you know you're a good tight end. Of course, you can look at him. He can run and catch. And he played major college basketball. That tells you what kind of talent this guy has. Second and six. Throws to the right. Breeze leans on his tight end this time. Jimmy Graham with the catch. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Sproles is in the backfield. First and 10. Looks to his left. And here's the pass incomplete. Helping spearhead the Falcons defense is Thomas Deku. Yeah, he does a good job, Jim, in the back of that secondary. Reads quarterbacks well and had quite a few big interceptions in 2012. Second down and 10, looking to the right side and throwing. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The throw to the left, and throws it incomplete. Second down coming up. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Incomplete. Now the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. On the way, third down. Breeze in shotgun formation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Hunt the football. <laughs> Sent him to the 20 yard line. Lions taking the field now. This is his sixth season as a quarterback in the NFL. The Saints defense now is going to go nickel. Now first and ten. Trying to make something happen. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. And wide out. One of the biggest threats in the game. Julio Jones. Nobody's second guessing the Atlanta Falcons hierarchy now, are they? All those draft picks they gave up for Julio Jones a couple years ago. Looks like a pretty smart move now. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. The defense comes out in the nickel. 
to drop back, running away from the pressure. He's in the clear, picks up about eight. Cameron Jordan has the bloodlines to be quite a factor in the NFL. Oh, no, you are right there, Jim. His, his father's team played the league for many years, tight end with the Minnesota Vikings. But Cameron Jordan, under Rob Ryan's defense, he is athletic. I think he will really blossom in 2013. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. First down and 10. Eyeing that left side. Hauls it in for the first down. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Ryan's back in shotgun formation. Trying to work that left side. Gains 11. Just when you thought he was going to have to take the sack, Phil, he's able to get away and complete the throw. Listen, good job by the quarterback, but how about the big defensive player? My gosh, you're paid, you're big and strong. Bring down the quarterback, and he just didn't get it done that time. And it's Roman Harper who makes the tackle. Well, it was an awesome job that time by the quarterback getting out of the pocket. He keeps the play alive and able to throw it down the field for a nice completion. Falcons with an empty backfield look here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback and he gets the completion. This will be second down. Flip to the outside. They deck him in the backfield. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands. Touchdown, Atlanta. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Add the extra point, the kick is good. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Drew Brees has it under center. First and 10. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. The Falcons and the Saints, it's one of those sneaky rivalry games in the NFL. There is a lot of... Uh, well, just downright hatred for one another when it comes to this matchup. Their fan bases, they wait all year long for these two matchups. Well, they play in the same division. They play each other twice a year. And now they both turned into outstanding organizations. So the bad blood is there. And you know what I say, bad blood makes for good football. It's now second down. And he's thrown to the ground. Quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving, you want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. And Sproles gets the football. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. 
and they stopped the offense that time. The Falcons signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. He wants to return this one. That'll stop the play right there. It's first down as they head to the line. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, the Deacon Duck quarterbacks, they love to see cover three because they know they're going to drop back and just throw the short passes underneath. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of this defense. Forgot to catch the football. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing. Run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Looking to scramble. Working that left side. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Davis lined up now as a slot receiver. Ryan's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got to time the pass where the football's going, where the receiver's going to catch it, and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete pass. He'll fire it out to the left. The Falcons turn the ball over on down. Well, that's just an awful job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately, but a nice job by the quarterback. Able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. First and 10. Throwing now to his left. That catch gives them a first down. The Saints are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. That's a timeout call. Going to need a lot of leg on this field goal try. An empty possession for the offense. So that's going to do it for the first half. Falcons are up in this one. Saints ready here for the kickoff. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Saints go with the dime formation here on defense. First and 10, scrambling out of the pocket. The defense gets the sack. Well, that's a good job by the defense at times, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Second and 11. They go draw. That brings the play to an end. You gotta stay patient with the run game. That's what the offense is doing here. Even though they haven't had any big games yet, there's a little short game that time, but you're hoping to break one sooner or later. Ryan from the gun. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, I hope the quarterback is okay. They've taken him off the field. We'll find out what that injury is and how severe. And as soon as we find out, we'll let you know. But, oh, uh, boy, you're talking about one of the best players in the NFL. Will it affect this team? Absolutely. Darren Sproles will return it. Gains 13. <laughs> First down coming up. They hand it off to the running back. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Sproles is in the backfield. Second down and 11. 
throws to the right. Thrown incomplete. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Now looking at third down. The formation here, shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Colston's in the slot. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking for an open receiver on the right. They pounce on him there. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. First and 10, Darren Sproles takes the football, and that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Danielle has got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Falcons team official. Matt Ryan's injury has yet to be determined with 100% certainty. But what I can tell you is that it is related to his arm, and the staff is treating it as a severe injury. Bottom line, this type of injury so early in the season is bad news for this team. Sproles is on the toss, gets the football. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Breeston's lined up in the slot. They send the tight end in motion. Third and seven, got a flag. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Accepted by the defense. Sproles is in the backfield. Third and 17. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That's a terrible job by the defense at the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. Throws to the right. Good piece of tackling. I love these timing routes. The out route, nice job by the wide receiver as he's breaking out towards the sideline. That football is right on target. Time and this one's running out and the defense knows it needs another stop. The final quarter begins with this snap. And the quarterback is taken down. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed. And when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Third and goal from the seven. Looking to the right side and throwing. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Hard to tell exactly what the injury is, Jim, but I could just tell it's the lower part of the body, and, uh, you know, uh, that was a tough hit, and I just, I hope he's able to come back in the game later today. Chip shot here. Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Falcons official. They're saying it's just a minor injury, so he should be back on the field pretty quickly. Bottom line, this type of injury so early in the season is bad news for this team. And a touchback. We're late in the game, and the offense is in no hurry. First and 10, Jackson trying to plow ahead. 
got to keep your offensive linemen aggressive. So you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. We'll hand it off. Two-minute warning. Well, to be a great offense, you got to be able to do a couple things that counters what the defense is going to do. Catch them off guard. One way to do it, run a draw play. They're thinking pads. You go with the run.